can we talk Rudy Gobert? I, I get asked this a lot by people. I think they think I'm going to have some inside scoop on how everybody else thinks, but it, he gets a yeah. lot of hate. I, I mean, former so players, much current hate, players. Though. Hate, so like much, hate, 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 hate. So and I'm much. like, man, I don't. Well, I used to think, man, but why? He earned some of it. He earned well, a little bit of it. How much of it? Because it? it's a lot. Listen, oh no, though, it's they all fair. On his neck, the, though, man. I'm talking about. He can't do nothing right. <laughs> he can't do nothing right, man. Like. I swear, like, it's like, no matter what he does, like, I don't know if it's because... Ever since he touched the microphones during yeah, COVID, that, bro, it's been, it went left. COVID. When he touched the microphones, it went left. Yeah, but, like, that and it's like, like, sometimes, you know, like, just as a basketball player or just someone who watched the game and someone who loves the game, like, I think the him winning so many Defensive Player of the Year awards and then get into the playoffs and then it's like, you know, sometimes like team has to sub him out or sometimes he might be unplayable or sometimes it doesn't it just doesn't look like a defensive player of the year. Like, you know, sometimes I think the eye test for a defensive player of the year is someone who's going out there locking up the other guys, you know, best player on their team. I mean, um, you know, sometimes I think guys just uh get on his head more for more so for that than uh, his game, whatever it is. But uh, definitely, uh, you know, every time I get on TV, I hear it. If I get on social media, I see it. Or, you know, if I after the game, um, they gonna be talking about it as well. So it's like a never ended thing with him, man. And then like, come on, man. Like Draymond did something to him. It just, I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what's going on. Draymond hates. Yeah. Bobby, let me. Ask, I wanted to ask. I want to ask you about Rudy Gobert because in my group chat with my homies, we have this debate about Rudy Gobert. Yeah. They don't feel like he's deserving of being a Defensive Player of the Year four times. They don't understand his impact. You being a stretch four, sometimes you can play five if y'all go small lineup. Walk me through his impact at the rim and what he brings to the table as a defensive player and why he's deserving for so many Defensive Players of the Year. Um. I think first and foremost, uh, I think like as a defensive player of the year, sometimes I think it can be from like team defense success. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's one probably analytic that's probably like misconstrued and lost in the shuffle that guys don't probably take into consideration. Probably like when he's on the floor, um, their defensive rating is probably a uh, plus such and such number, whatever the, that number is. So I think sometimes that kind of kind of gets misconstrued but I think from a NBA's and you know someone who watches the game I says guys want to see defensive player of the year is guard the other guys best player uh you know being able to switch and do multiple things on defense but playing against Rudy man obviously he's in a drop drop coverage um you know uh defensive scheme and he does a great job of you know playing two guys you know really get behind him obviously in this series is been kind of tough, obviously, because they have two great lob threats in Daniel Gafford and, you know, Derek Lively. But throughout the regular season, um, you know, when you're game planning for Rudy Gobert, it's not like you have a seven game series to game plan for him. You know, it's a one game in and out. So it's kind of, you know, difficult to, you know, kind of, uh, you know, um, you know, just evaluate him that way. By the way, my whole my whole thing with him is too is like as the defensive player of the year, don't you want to see him switch a pick and roll and just That's lock, the thing up, too. Like, lock up Kyrie yeah. Irving with him on the line? It doesn't have to be big on big. Like I want to see him switch on Luca or Kyrie, move his feet, shut his shit down like a Jaden McDaniels would do, like a Kawhi Leonard would do, like yeah. Draymond does. That to me is the versatility of a defensive player of the year. I want to see him do that. Not block shots, not alter a lob. I know their defense was great this year, but as, as for him to get my vote, I want to see him do that. I want to see him hmm. shut off Dame Lillard's, you know, water late in the game. I not just not just block shots and you know. Uh, what I, mean? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, don't know. I, want to I do get it what all. you're saying, Chandler. Like uh, when he switched off on when he switched off on Luca last game for the game winner. You want to have confidence knowing we got an opportunity right. at a stop. You know, that's what you said. Like, yeah, yeah, we didn't feel that. that. There's a video of Did y'all see Jay McDaniels behind him, though? Did y'all see, see the, the picture of Jay McDaniels? Did y'all see the picture of Jay McDaniels right behind him? Nah. Trying to, like, yes. he's like, ah, uh, like, he wasn't really yeah. confident in it, like. <laughs> like as a teammate, like I, I, I want to be fully confident in my teammate getting up there. I want to be in my health gaps, knowing that hey, bro, you by yourself, Especially by yourself. Especially defensive I player my, of the year. Yeah, yeah, I want my teammate doing this. Ah, in the That's background. Like, 
I want to see a switch. I want to see a switch and not see that face on my teammate. I want to say, okay, yeah, we got this. Exactly. That face but also sometimes me. it's like switching, switching and being honest with yourself. Like sometimes when you are, you know, switching big, you know, if you know like this guy's shifty or this guy can go by me, uh, maybe like switch with, you know, seven and below seconds on the clock. So now, you know, like you only have to guard them two, three, four dribbles. So if you can guard someone two, three, four dribbles, then that's great defense. You know what I'm saying? Like time and situation and when the switch is also critical as well. You might not want to switch on the guy at 16 seconds and he has a live dribble for 14 seconds. He can get by you in a defense breakdown. Now we're in, you know, uh, scram mode. So sometimes switching with time and space and knowing the proper timing is also important as well, especially with switching big sometimes.